What's going on, friendos? It's me, L.I.T. Salmon, bringing you the Throwback Thursday. Right now, I'm bringing you a game that was part of my childhood uh, called Kid Chameleon. Now, I didn't have a Sega Genesis. These previews gotta stop. Well, I'll just let the previews play while I talk. Um, I didn't have a Sega Genesis back when I was uh, younger, you know, because I was born in the, uh, just about towards the end of the Super Nintendo, and just towards the start, no, 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 not the Super Nintendo, just towards the end of the 64, my bad, just towards the end of the 64, and just towards the beginning of, say, the GameCube, in fact, the GameCube was the very first console that I ever owned, uh, but I did have uh, a computer from very early on, and I had the CD-ROM called Sega Smash Pack 2. And in Sega Smash Pack 2, we had, uh, I'll go ahead and get the game started. There was about, I want to say maybe about eight games, eight or nine Genesis games on that CD-ROM that I could play on the computer. You know, it, and there were a bunch of games on there, like, um, you know, the classic Sonic games. They are basically all the hits. Uh, or like sort of like some of the greats. You no, know, there were uh, obviously Kid Chameleon. Um, there was Vector Man. I was I didn't know Vector Man was such a popular thing until um, you know some years later. And I was like, wow, really? You know, because it, oof, wow, like uh, yeah, I. Unfortunately, I still don't have a Genesis. Like I said, I own the Smash Pack 2, but that hasn't worked in many, many years uh, for one reason or another. But yeah, uh, I didn't know Vector Man was so popular until many, many years later. And let's see, there are also games like Shining Force. Shining Force was uh, an RPG that. I was basically in love with I spent so many hours playing that game, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's difficult to record all this, so unfortunately I am using an emulator, so, you know, if, if you think I am cheating, you know, by uh, playing an emulator, you can go fuck yourself. And I'm kidding, I love all of you. But that's not the point. Now, Kid Chameleon... It's basically uh, a three edgy five U Mario game. I guess is the best way to put it. A three edgy five U Mario game with more power ups. Uh, you know, there's um, obviously, obviously, you're seeing what looks to be a knight. There are samurais. I think you saw by the intro screen that there was a Jason-looking uh, character that, um, you know, I, I believe he, th I, if I remember correctly, he throws axes. But yeah, basically the whole premise of the story, in case you, you know, either didn't. S in case you didn't read the beginning, basically there's this virtual game. Uh, if I remember correctly, come on! Oh, don't be a dick. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Rude. Oh, come on! I just gotta touch it again. Urgh. All right, there we go. Ah, see, that, that, was, that was a little secret, I remember. Oof. I remember back from when I was playing it in the beginning. Um, 
I completely lost my train of thought, to be very honest with you. Oh. Yeah, it's a very Mario-esque game. Uh, there's the samurai, there's the Jason-looking person, there's the knight, uh, and... Oh, okay, now I remember what I was talking about. Uh, the beginning, like the whole premise of this. Basically, there's a virtual reality game. A very popular one. But it basically became, whoa, became too realistic. And now the boss has escaped, and now this kid has to go in to try to, uh, you know, beat the game, and I guess defeat him in the game. I think that defeats him in real life. I don't remember. I don't believe I've ever actually fully beat, beaten this game. So, uh, and also, it's been so many years, like, let's see, I'm 19, almost 20 right now, and, oh man, I think the last time I played Kid Chameleon was about, I was maybe 8 or 9? I, th I think, I think that's a good, whoa, I think that's a good guess. But yeah, uh, they have a live system that I would put akin to uh, Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Okay, no. You know, you see uh, the little bar of life underneath the timer. Alright, you see a little bar of health underneath the timer, uh, how it changes per um, character. And when that runs out, you go back to your normal thing, like similar to how if Mario gets hit once when he's just Big Mario, that he goes back to Little Mario, and if he has... Um, if he has the fire flower that he gets um, he basically gets two shots until he gets back to little Mario so it's like I said it's, it's kinda got a thing like that and honestly you know the game's not terrible it plays very well like even even on an emulator it plays very well uh, I don't fully remember all the secrets in this game. Like, I think... Oh man, I'm trying to think of how far I played. Oops. I'm trying to think of how far I played. I think I only played up to about the... Maybe the... Fourth level? Question mark? And actually, you know, speaking of the health, I'm about to lose his power if I don't get a new one pretty soon. Oh, wow, I just barely made that. Oh yeah, and of course, uh, there is a timer. Uh, luckily, it's going by actual seconds and minutes. Unlike, you know, Mario, where you've got the timers on crack or something like that. No, it's going faster than the speed of sound. You know, it's uh, it, it's running around at the speed of sound. It's the, fact, it's the fastest timer around. Uh, but yeah, you know, I've, I've always been a Nintendo kid. I've all, always have been, always probably will be. Uh, you know, until I became the computer guy. But, oops, oh yeah, see, and then you go back to your normal guy, and the normal guy, I don't think has any powers other than that flip I saw him do once. But yeah, uh, pretty much most of these levels, unfortunately, are, oh god, wow, are pretty much impossible to do without at least one power-up. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, so I can't jump on those guys. Whew. God damn it! Oh, no, you're gonna die. Get out of my way. Uh, but yeah, the, unfortunately the game's... I don't think did that well in terms of uh, you know spacing out or prepping the game for people that you know wanted to do it a different way. Uh, because unfortunately, no matter what, you're gonna need a power up. If you lose a power up, you are most likely going to lose. Of course, that's not to say it's impossible. Uh, oh, wow. He respawned. I didn't expect him to actually respawn. I don't know what that sound was. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all of this. What you're seeing right now is basically all of Kid Chameleon. There's no other real mechanics. You know, there's the, uh, there's the run button, which as soon as this game starts, under Skull Mountain one. And there's the run button, which you see I'm doing right now. I know this is like the normal speed, there's the run button. There's a jump button, obviously. Some people jump higher. I don't know if someone has a double jump in this game. And the other button is the action button. Oh yeah, here's the chasing guy. Let's see what he does. Yeah, see, he just throws. I don't know. Whoa! I don't know what that was, but I don't want to be part of it. I know. I'm just gonna run through this level. I'm just gonna run all the way through. Fuck it all. I don't know where I am. That's right, that's how these work. Oof, ow. God damn it. Ugh. Oh. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the game plays very well. The controls are tight. Oof, what is this? What the hell? Oh yes, I can spam this! Oh my god, look at all the skulls. Uh, oh god! Uh. I'm guessing this is platform platforming right now. Oh! Uh. Fuck off! I don't know where I am. I don't know, I'm just kind of going hard. I basically just ran through that level because I didn't know what to do. Oh my god, a third one already? Fuck off. Hmm. Oh my god, these are- Oh, fuck this. Oh my god, please. PLEASE! This is why I don't like action games. Oh god damn it. Fuck 
fire guy die. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Surya! Over here that I can break. Damn it. Damn it, no! I thought I heard something outside. Oh, that's what that is. Sorry about that, never mind, guys. It's just the, uh, they're just doing, uh, I'm doing something, alright. I don't know. But it's nothing, so. Is it annoying? Yes, very. Oh, okay. Come on, let's beat this level. I'm, I'm sad at the... I think that was the first level I died. No, oh, God! Mm. Going to beat this level. Come on, I've died at this place like two times now. Alright, jump. Alright, alright, we're gonna take it slow. Jump. Alright, we're gonna wait. Like. Jump. No! Now we're gonna go hard. Alright, we finally got past it. Sure hope I don't have to ever do anything like that ever again. God damn it! Alright. Alright. Oh my god. And they're getting smaller. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Almost didn't make that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Oh my god. Please don't be too much smaller. Oh, thank god. God, I hate, wish I wouldn't do that. Hello? Oh, god 
God damn it. Okay, there we go. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Oof, come on. Yes! 32 seconds to spare. Alright. Isle of the Lion Lord. I don't think I've got- okay, I don't think I've gotten this far. Oh my god, what? What the- what? Why is there two of them? Fuck that, nope. Give me this, come on! No! Ugh. Oh, yes! Be one. jump higher but I can I can kill him like I did last time. Yes. Okay, um okay, what's under here? Timer. Fuck. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know what the whole premise of this level is. I'm guessing I just need to defeat a certain amount. Oh, fuck. <gasps> yes! Oh. Hills of the Warrior. <gasps> what the f- What the fuck is- No! No! Can I just run? Okay, good. Can I just keep running? Like, forever? What the fuck is that? <gasps> Shit! No, 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 no! Look, I don't know what's down here! I probably shouldn't touch those anymore. Oh, fuck. No! Oh my god. Okay, I have one life left. Oh, god damn it, no! Shit, shit, fuck, ass tits! Damn it! Ugh. All right, all right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. Oh fuck! No! Come on! Damn it! I needed that. I need both of those. Okay.
Damn it, no, come on. Ugh. Shit, shit. Ugh. Fine, fuck the timer. I'm out of here. I'm out of 500. Oh my god, I hate levels like that. They're so stressful, dude. Uh, oh fuck, oh shit, ah oh, god. Wow, massive lag, I'm sorry guys. Alright, come on. No oh! oh the secrets. Oh the secrets are safe. Oh, don't know where that came from. Whoa, I didn't see it. God damn it, I didn't see it. Whoa, okay, I didn't see those. So now I'm in the city. So, did I start in the game? And now I'm like working my way to the re oh. And now I'm working my way into the real world maybe? There we go. Damn it. Well, at least these, at least the levels are like relatively easy. Okay, I skipped it again. I'm an idiot. Okay.
What the? Okay, I've never used this guy before. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, so he's like a little spider guy. I mean, technically he's a fly, but that's beside the point. Oof. Okay. Oh, thank God. It looks like we're getting into some new power-ups. I keep. I don't know. I can't. I I, I can't defend myself. sent me all the way back. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Okay, so I'm still coming. Uh, all right. All right. 
Alright guys, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me on... Uh, oof, still that lag though. Thank you for joining me on Throwback Thursday. Uh, we all hope to bring you uh, good content. You know, the whole premise for Throwback Thursday is uh, any game that came out in the 20th century you know so anything that you know obviously 1999 and before are eligible uh, however also retro themed games such as um, oh god what's that game called uh, Shovel Knight uh, things like that uh, games like a uh, DLC quest all, all games like those are eligible even though they came out, you know, in the 21st century. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been LTG Sandman, and I'll see you guys next time. Johnny.